Welcome to Rushmore Podcast. My name is Thomas. Hey, I'm that motherfucker, Jody B. Nice Jody B, you're, you're not on fucking camera, Jody B. What Should I be? You're not. Your on, fucking yeah. your internet sucks. That's what okay. fucking happened. Did my internet kicks your camera off? Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't even realize. Uh, this is Rushmore Podcast where we fucking do stuff, and then in like 35 minutes and maybe shorter this time, you figure out what the fuck we do with it. Um, Jody. <laughs> Of yes. the plug your shit po boys podcast is that correct is that right google search it po boys podcast yes also i sell bidets on the side as my side hustle so go to buyabidet.com use promo code po boys get 10 percent off buy a bidet for your house cunt this fucking guy i hope he's uh working on getting this camera working because for some reason in my head i had him pictured as this, like 450 pound dude i saw a picture on twitter i guess and it wasn't him and i thought it was so i've been thinking he's this like fucking chris farley john candy looking dude and then he gets yes. on camera and he's and he's handsome and slim and i'm like what the fuck is going on jody do you really want me to turn the camera on? Because I yeah. will. I just yes. don't want your internet to shit out. Oh, will that shut my internet out? Is that what happened? Ah, oh motherfucker. I feel like a frat room covered in cum right now. Yeah, this shirt is actually gray. <laughs> this is cum. It's <laughs> mine. That's, though, that's the good news. Um, you are probably wondering where Pepper is. So let me, I'll give them, we'll get your take on it too, but let's, let me give them the rundown. Okay. Pepper threw a fit today. And what happened was I, so the last year and a half or so we had a little bump uh you know we with the show kind of fucking took flight in the pandemic because we had some great guests on first of many being jeff danis from danish no neil i had never listened to any danish no neil ever in my life right. pepper loves those guys i took a shot because pepper wanted to and that's how we do it pepper brings up a fucking guest and i'm like if you think they're funny let's just do it no questions asked he calls those shots so we had jeff danis on it worked out great we had earl skakel on several times i had never heard of him he's fucking hilarious he was great on there then we had ryan o'neill one of our best episodes ever Danish and O'Neill did episode 200 for us. All these guests that Pepper brings to the table, all his ideas. And I've never said no, never said no to anybody that Pepper's brought to the table. So we made those happen and they've always worked out. They're always very funny. Uh, point being, the power has kind of always been in his court as far as the guest goes. So I come up with the idea. I'm like, why don't we talk to some people that we know are funny that we've never talked to before that right. we interact with on Twitter, you, um, pretty regularly we know you're a funny guy so i was like let's have people like that on that are more instead of trying to reach for these huge comedians or whatever that we've had the you know luxury of having on let's look for more peers people that are doing exactly what we're doing and doing it well that are at our level uh which is you maybe a little bit above we're not going to fucking talk semantics and i want to have him on because i think he's a funny guy pepper was like fuck that yeah. I called the fucking shots, hung up on me. I understand. He can be a diva about it, too. Yeah. That's what he told me. I've been trying to come on the show for a year. And he told me, listen, Thomas, he told me this whole time you were being a cunt. Yeah. I think Pepper is a fucking cock block. That's well, what his thing is. Well, I will say I showed you receipts. So, you know what the actual truth is. So there's a lot of in words. There's a lot of in words from his end. Yeah. Every time I said R. your name, he was like, yeah. no to that. Yeah. Um, I don't really get it. And it doesn't really matter, I guess, because, I mean, we're just doing it without him. And he doesn't have to be here for everyone. Oh, uh, Tyler from Fartmouth. We've had him on. Another Pepper guy. Turned yeah. out to be a great, you know, great guest. I like Tyler. Yeah. Tyler. We have been on the show. Uh, yeah, Tyler. No. Uh, okay, you know what? No. I'm going. I got to go battle him. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, but, come um, on. Pull all the guns out, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't really understand what his problem is. And I'm thinking it might have something to do with the Braves Astros playing tonight. He just couldn't make it. But yeah. I don't think that's it because he he legit threw a fit, uh, said this was his show and that I'm not going to override him to have some fucking just some guy on is what he said. Right. And, uh, I, I really think that gay ball had something to do with it. He's probably sitting in his recliner right now touching his cock. Do you think it's the gayest sport? Because it's definitely the most necklace. I think so. There's you want to do a rush more of the gayest sports? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'd be hard to come up with all the top, but I'm going to be honest with you. Baseball's going to be pretty high on the list. Okay. Yeah. Baseball's pretty. Okay. Yeah. Baseball's pretty gay. Wrestling, amateur wrestling. So you don't even get paid for it. Racquetball, not racquetball. Uh, what's the one with the net? Bad, bad gammon? Badminton. 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 Where you play with a shuttlecock? Shuttlecock. That's pretty, gay. That's pretty fucking gay. Um, yep. Swimming. There's butterflies and shit. No, that's hard. I saw a par uh, paraplegic swim this year. Did you know every year after the Olympics, they have the Paralympics where like all the people with half arms and no legs and stuff come and do the same shit? <laughs> they have half arms. So there was one thing called, uh, oh, fuck, I forget what it's called. Uh, it's a ball game. It's like wall ball or something. It's some goofy fucking name like that. But it's basically for blind people. And they sit down. It's like a like a soccer field. And they sit down with blindfolds on yeah. and they whip fucking dodgeballs at each other. And basically they're playing like daredevil because all they can do is hear, you know. So they're just sitting there like on the ground. One dude's in like the gold box and they just fucking jump around and get balls and then they jump up and whip them at each other. It's pretty sweet. I wonder if they're hiring commentators. I would like that job. I want to just do that. You want to do that? 
you can Tommy, yeah. we'll just fucking start commenting on the Paralympic Games. Oh, I yeah. And then with is, no legs where, swim. Where do they air it? NBC? Yeah, the same shit. Listen, you can look it up right now. If you watch the Olympics, look up the Paralympics. And there's all kinds of fun shit you can see. Uh, half people and midgets and all kinds of stuff jumping in pools with no legs. There was a couple guys from Asia. I think it was China specifically, but uh, didn't have no arms. They swim like little dolphins. It's wild. That's fucking adorable. We should do like a, a para, Paralympic fight companion type thing. I digress. Pepper's gay. He was being a punk. And I think that's the thing is the whole time. I think he thought that you weren't going to like me and I weren't going to like you. You know, yeah. I think he's been standing in between us. I think Thomas. you're great. You're much better looking than I thought you were. And um, not only that, I think so. He started another podcast and he has definitely cared less about this one since, but he does this podcast called history buffs and it's a good show. And sure. he does it uh, with Phil Cron, who I introduced him to me and Phil went to college together and got our history degrees. Pepper's very underqualified, but Phil is also an admitted um, very, very, I would say an abusive user only because like he abuses the drug, but of steroids and pepper who our friend, mutual friend, Raylan Nelson, by the way, they did a spin magazine, spin article on Raylan today. It's pretty fucking sick. She's, Anyways, she's great. I've heard her on a bunch of shows. She's yeah, Willie Nelson's yeah. granddaughter, great granddaughter. Yeah, yeah. Granddaughter. granddaughter. Willie Nelson's like 107. She's she could Willie, be double great granddaughter, but still yeah, she's great. Willie Jr. Was her dad. She's fucking great. But she did kind of bully Pepper a little bit a couple months ago because he had gained a lot of weight and she pointed it out. She had known him for less than a year. She saw a video from like a year ago and was like, you used to be so skinny. Yeah. what's going on with you he started starving himself so i think he lost all that weight he's doing the podcast with this huge fucking testosterone guy and right. he's I'm, not eating properly and he's just having fucking panic uh panic uh oh hold on i'm gonna get the word diva he's a diva he's having prima fucking donna. Panic and prima donna that's a perfect word to go with his hair but i'm gonna say <laughs> yeah i'm gonna say roid rage i think he's on field shit i think he's trying to bulk up and we hit a fucking nerve and he had an episode today if we're being yeah. honest wow Hopefully the baseball will soothe him. Like he's the incredible redneck Hulk. He just yeah. gets all big and he's mad. And then he just watches baseball and calms the fuck down. He's the guy that brings steroids back to baseball. Pussy. He is a fucking pussy. Baseball is so goddamn gay. Anyways, uh, he was invited. He could have been on the show. He's not on the fucking show. Yeah. Um, Thomas, what yeah. do you think would make baseball better? Like if you had to pick something, just throw in one thing. Landmines. Base- That's pretty good. <laughs> like in the, all throughout or just in the outfield? Yeah. Well, they're hidden. Okay. So throughout the field, but they are they are perfectly covered, perfectly so disguised. Realistically, the only people that are in trouble are the defense when they're sc- scampering through the fucking field. Well, no, no, no. They're in the uh they're in the the what do you call them? Lanes? The, like the base <laughs> lines and everywhere. Yeah, right? yeah they're right. everywhere. You, they could be anywhere. They put them so under the bases. So when you, you have step to have about 102 <laughs> players on the roster. <laughs> you can't do this eleven people shit. You gotta have I like it. Yeah, I think it would be better. Golf is also another good landmine sport. Um I think that fucking baseball, they should get to the ninth inning. If they get to the end of it and it's nothing, nothing, then they should just have a, like a bench clearing fist fight. And then yeah. whoever the last man standing is, that team wins for the night. That's it. That's actually not bad. I'd watch that. It'd have to come to a complete shutout, but I have a feeling that at some, certain points, teams would get that bad blood and they would just fucking end up. Yeah, they'd go for a fist fight. <laughs> just, man, what city? What What is a good fist fight city? That has a baseball team. Who Philadelphia? Do they have baseball? Uh, yeah, the Phillies. So yeah, pretty sure good. those guys. Baltimore has a fucking team. Yeah, it'd be a rumble on the East Coast, dude. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, yeah, batters. I don't think Pepper would watch that. I'd root for it. I used to watch cops like football. I don't watch sports, really. I watch like college football from my team, and that's it. And Who's then not, Arkansas Razorbacks. Oh, okay. Those are my pigs, team. right? Yeah, they're like big red pigs with horns in their face. That's fucking cool. It's pretty sweet. But no, that's the deal. I don't really get into other sports just watching it. I listen to the football game most of the time, but I just don't give a shit. And uh, yeah, man, I think most sports are pretty gay, especially to watch. Yeah, I would say. I don't know if we finished our Rushmore gay sports, but we definitely named out some good ones. But baseball, I would say, is still going to be number one on both of our lists. Yeah. Just, uh, I don't know. It's just bad. The, and the players don't make it any better. They're all pretty fucking gay. There's not yeah. like a cool baseball player I can think of. Not anymore. And that's since no. they stopped taking steroids and hitting home runs. Exactly. I'm sure that's they still do that. Yeah, no. I'm sure they still do that, but not as much as it used to be. And they don't take the good shit. They can't because they'll pop. They test them too much. <laughs> they got to take the fucking stupid black market shit that doesn't actually work. Yeah. It's garbage. I don't know. Every sport is better with steroids, especially the contact ones. I like that. I should uh, think every sport should have steroids. Every single one. Yes. We need the best sports fucking science can create. So what do you do on your show? You just talk. Are you just there a fucking theme? 
Yeah, what I'm doing right now. Basically, we're doing my show until we start talking about a list. Isn't that fun? That is actually pretty cool. What are you uh, smoking right now? Weed. Oh, Oh, shit. I was really hoping for crack. Called Gunslinger. I like it. Where'd you get that from? Where do you live? I live in Arkansas. Do you masturbate? Oh, you live in uh, Arkansas. That makes sense. That's why it's your college. I thought it was a random fucking team. No, Uh, I live here. Okay. Big Bryce Mitchell guy at all? Uh, I've heard of him. Thug Nasty with the double fucking twister submission thing. Nuts get busted up and shit. That's wild. Um, um, yeah. Do you That's, masturbate on nine eleven or did you? Probably. I was like, uh, I was like thirteen. Yeah, I definitely jerked no, off. No, no, this past one, last month. Oh, wait. What happened on nine eleven? It was just a celebration. It was twenty years. So was was I supposed to? I probably jerked off that day. No, I, I would think. I don't think that you're supposed to or not supposed to. I don't think it's like that. I think it just says a lot about a person if they do or don't. Can we make it a thing? Like jerk off on nine eleven? Dicks out for fucking. For yeah, New York, Dick's out for Tower Seven. Fucking um. Okay, are your parents still alive? Both of them. My mom never met my dad. Oh shit! So he yeah, might my be alive mom, though. Now so my mom's like, gay. Is she? She is. Was I guess she, she got played, fucked once. This is what happened. Me. She played she play baseball. Uh no, she's no. a stubby, stubby little fucking lady. <laughs> being the fucking. I ain't mad at her for liking pussy either. I told her. I said I get it. I like pussy too. Fuck. That's pretty great. <laughs> I like your microphone. Thank you. You like it's goddamn good. Johnny Cash or some shit. It's a $35 replica microphone. So when podcasters tell me that they spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars recording their shows, I just giggle a little and I go, this one's 35 bucks. Yeah. Podcasting is uh, super fucking easy. Are you ready to get into this goddamn topic? Please. We're doing old school cool <sighs> shit. Yeah. If that makes any fucking sense. Shit that is cool, but also used to be cool and right. people used to fucking do it. Maybe they don't do it anymore. Even that was kind of the thing. Right. If you, do, if you do, you it's guys, still fine. It's so cool. You do honorable mentions ever? Because I had one that didn't quite make the list, but I thought it was a good one. Yeah, I might take it from you because I don't know that I have four. Uh, TV trays. TV trays. That's actually, yes, that's number, that's very fucking cool. I grew up in a trailer park. So like TV trays, man, we put stuff on TV trays besides food. But like it was a very yeah. big staple in my life as a kid. A little fold up piece of metal like you would see on wrestling with legs. And sometimes they were good. Sometimes they were bad. Sometimes one of the little plastic things that held it in place was broke the fuck off and you'd have to sit there and like hold your shit. But yeah, man, TV trays. They don't I, do that I, really anymore. I had wooden ones. I didn't have any metal ones, but I used to have wooden TV trays. They were like the flat surface on top. Yeah, that's some garbage shit. And I like it. That's why I can usually judge a person. If you didn't have TV trays in your house as a kid, we can't be friends. Yeah, you're bringing you're digging up a fucking relic for me because I forgot all about TV trays. Now I want to get stuff from my apartment. Yeah, it's the that's next greatest dope. thing. You throw some mashed <laughs> potatoes on your fucking tray and go watch on the family. Let's go. Yeah, bro. Fucking TV trays. Write that yeah. shit down. That's my number four. So fucking speak it into existence. Okay. What's your so, number four? Porno magazines. Oh, old school. So like, yeah, if you had a porno now, a magazine, people would call you a grandfather. Like, why would you, that's jerking off an analog? It's really yeah. fucking weird. It's actually gross. Yeah. You would be considered either a creep or yeah. a person who just didn't throw out things. A hoarder, maybe. Okay. Nobody buys porno magazines anymore, right? Do they sell them? Surely. Where? Airports? Probably in like those dildo stores, like the oh, roadside, okay. you can get a bong and a dildo and you probably could get a porno magazine there, but you, I bet you have to buy like five of them at once. <laughs> you probably just go online to like Hustler or wherever the fuck they blog and print them. I think Playboy is only online now. Like you can't get a, a, a analog copy of Playboy anymore. I don't think they do full nudity on Playboy anymore. Yeah. I wouldn't pay for it anyway. I never paid for a porno. Like I always yeah. found them when you I was find a kid. Them in the woods and you leave them in the listen if you didn't have porno in the woods as a kid we can't be friends yeah you gotta you gotta have your fucking porn spot yep yeah and for some reason like jerking off in your friend like in front of your friends is perfectly acceptable but actually so that that shitty uh other bad singer host whoever the fucking other guy that was supposed to show up oh fuck turned me on to pictures again like i used to just watch videos i don't even pick anymore i just go there and i pick the thing like i don't type shit in i'm just like i don't seek anything out Nope, just need something to whack off to. Yep. He told me about Reddit porn, and I was like, so it's just pictures? And at first, I thought it was pretty dumb. And then I started looking at it, and I'm like, this is kind of cool. This is taking me back. <laughs> yeah, I think he likes it because it's like, they don't feel like actors. It's no, real, they're very, people. a lot of those pictures are real. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's all out there. Real fucking people. Uh, my number three is going to be, uh, you actually mentioned this earlier when we were talking, and it is smoking cigarettes. Oh, that's my number one. Is it? Oh, yeah. Well, fucking spoiler alert. Uh, you you can probably dive a lot deeper whenever we get to that point. But uh, yeah, now it. <sighs> this is the thing is I come off as like super fucking anti smoking and shit like that. I don't give a fuck what anybody. Well, that's how we does. got the topic. I thought, does pepper smoke? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Pepper smokes. So maybe I got you guys. I'm sorry, because I said it too. I was going to do cigarette brands. Like, that would have been a fun rush more. Yeah, yeah. You know? Pepper, no, I, cunt. I, I mean, I used to, like, take them from my grandma when I was, like, a teenager. Like, yes. a preteen. But, uh, like, I'd take her out of her little fucking the little leather coin purse. The little mom on the bitches. cigarette pouch, dude. Everybody's yeah. fucking grandma had those. But uh, I used to take them out of there. Some some Marble uh, 100s, I think it was. But now it just seems, and you still smoke, right? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, I apologize. I'm not trying to be rude, but now it just seems silly. It seems like I it's, don't know. it's weird because, like, I don't like to defend it. But the funny thing is, is it like it saved my life once. So, oh, it? yeah, that? it's like it's like I'm like my gimmick. So it's funny. Like, I've always smoked since I was a kid. <laughs> Tell that story when we get to your number one, because I'm interested in hearing that. OK, so. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just it seems fucking silly to like start up now. It's very but, much frowned upon. Like nobody likes people that smoke anymore. And it used yeah. to be greatly and widely accepted. So I'll get to that. <laughs> that's the thing, too. And like as a uh, and I hate even calling myself this, but as someone who's played music in <laughs> public venues, I love that they like got rid of fucking smoking inside in most places because it yeah. was goddamn miserable to sing in a smoked out bar. It is the we're, worst. We're going to have a We're going to have a different opinion on that, sir. So, okay. well, it used to be perfectly fine because you didn't know any better. But then the city where I'm from, Pascagoula, they banned it citywide inside of uh, bars. And it was infinitely better once that was gotten rid of. And I just never even knew that was a fucking possibility. But sure. I do think that as a spectator of live music, especially like good music, that having a smoke filled bar is definitely there's it's way cooler. It That's makes definitely a, cooler with it's like a way better atmosphere yeah. for a show to have smoke in a bar. But as the person that has to sing and sing the next day, most likely it's fucking miserable. I get that. And you but know I'm, what? I don't know that life. So you know, that's a different path. Yeah, I barely do. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, I just fucking trick people into paying me a few times. But that's going to be my number three because like Paul Newman and people like that, that's a weird goddamn reference, but like the seventies and shit like that, that, everybody yeah. looked fucking cool smoking a cigarette or a cigar. You know, everybody point. looks fucking cool. Now, if you see a 25 year old dude outside of a target smoking a cigarette, there's no fucking, there's nothing cool about it. Yeah. It's just douchebag. It's strange. Now, now it's like, why did you start? <laughs> You probably think they're hemp cigarettes. Like those aren't even camels. There was some kind of weird shit. (laughs) Yeah. Now it's just fucking weird. But for the record, I don't give a fuck if anybody smokes. I'm not against anybody doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Nice. What is your number three? My number three. Now, I never never really got to play with these, but I've played with like a a dumbed down version at a kid's party recently. Yeah. And it's from like the 70s. So you probably didn't play this shit either. But uh, you ever heard of lawn darts? Yeah. So like I never played lawn darts as a kid, but I do know somebody that caught one in the eye and he's blind now in that eye. So I understand that like they're dangerous. But like, I think it'd be pretty cool. Like people play horseshoes and bago and cornhole is a pretty gay sounding game. Like I yeah. figured they could have come up with something better. Like none of it's good. Bago sounds like nuts. Yeah. Sack toss. Like it's just not really a, a not gay way to just to say cornhole, I guess. But so like lawn darts, like 10 pound darts and you would fucking draw like a square on your fucking yard. And then you just lob the fucking thing across the yard. Like, I think that'd be pretty sweet. I'm not bad at it. Yeah. Lawn darts. That's a good one. <laughs> I don't know what else you want me to say about that, but while I'm dark school, I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Um, so, what's that? What? What? Pepper? I fucking wish, dude. He hadn't shown up. I sent him the Zoom link and everything. Suck it. I I hate that he's like uh led you on for the last year and a half. But to be uh perfectly honest, you say like you asked over a year ago. Mm-hmm. What coming on? I I'm I was not aware of that. See, that, that, that would, never crossed my path ever. At any, that is, I'm being, a, I'm being a thousand percent genuine when I say that. That is not a bit. I have no fucking clue until maybe a week ago that you would have even been interested. I got, I have receipts too, and they probably have N words in them. They probably do. Uh, yeah. So my number two is the N word. You can't fucking say it anymore. <laughs> no. uh, my number two is going to be that though. It is going to be not the N word because specifically for some reason that one still doesn't seem cool, but. There's some good ones that have been banned across the board that weren't hurting anybody. <laughs> or if they were, like, it's it was okay. It's mostly faggot and retard. Like, yeah. those are the ones See, that get hit the hardest. And I've never been a big retard guy. Um, yeah. I say but, it a lot. Way too much. But never, not like, I don't mean retarded. I just mean you're acting retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I totally get No, I mean, like, I've never been. That, that yeah, that's, that's never been a huge part of my vocabulary. And I noticed that once it was like, no one was saying it anymore. I was like, oh, I haven't heard the urge to say that. But a good faggot, like at the right time, especially after it's been a while, 
Because that's the thing, too, is it also gets to where you're overusing it and it kind of loses its fucking state. Right. That's but, my uh, angle. Like, I'll call an old lady in traffic a faggot. Yeah. Truck drivers, fucking little kids that fucking stand in the road when I'm trying to get by. I'm like, get out of the way, you little fucking faggot. Yeah, I mean, that's the fucking classic Louis C.K. bit. Like, it has mm-hmm. nothing to do with with being a homosexual. Louis C.K., fucking South Park, everybody's fucking played it out. Yeah. You know, they did it probably the best. And, it's just, uh, yeah. People, you you know you know what I mean whenever I call somebody a faggot. Like you know what I mean. It has nothing to do with their sexual orientation, obviously. Right. It means they can't throw a fucking football. Yeah, they probably <laughs> can throw a baseball. They're it a doesn't mean they like to suck cock. It means they can't throw a ball and exactly. they cry a lot. They might be great at sucking cock. Maybe. I never do. Okay. What? Now I was just gonna ask something about your uh blowjob experience as a kid. Ask, please. Have you ever given one? Oh <laughs> we might save this one for another show. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. What's your number two? Uh, circus. We don't have a circus anymore. Like with animals and shit or clowns? All of it. Clowns, animals, dirt bikes in a fucking metal circle or whatever the fuck. Oh, I want shit. a dude with lions like snapping whips. I don't give a fuck. You know, those elephants probably live on the Serengeti and they don't get shot over their fucking tusks. They'll get attacked by a, a lion or some shit. So like, yeah, let them go be in the circus and stand on stuff. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I I went to... I don't know. People were really mad about circuses. They really were since I was a kid. People were really mad. People like don't like Dumbo and shit. I it's think weird. clowns got a bad rap because circuses went away. Like it came and ruined it for cl- it and John Wayne Gacy. Like it's not okay to be clowns. And then I insane clown posse kind of did a little number on it, but still like classic clowns are tip. They're scary. People don't like them. I yeah. think if we had more circuses, they might not be so rough on clowns. I don't know. Cause if we're being perfectly honest, a clown is definitely the lamest fucking part of a circus. That's true. Nobody's going to the circus for the clown. No, but you wouldn't think that a clown was going to fucking chop your head off or smash. Yeah, that's it. true. Like, they're just there. Like they're that. just like, look at this. That's fucking. Look at him. He's got a job. That's cool. There's look at him walking around, motherfucker, throwing yeah. water on people. <laughs> You're there to see the fucking animals. You're not there to see the gown stilts. You're not there to see clowns. Who gives a fuck? The high wire shit's kind of crazy. That's cool. Yeah, there. if you're going to be a human, be really high in the air. Yeah, at least almost die while you're performing. Yes, risk your fucking life for me. Although I have seen videos of uh, people doing acrobatic shit and they shit. Have you seen this? No, but it sounds pretty cool. They shit while they're doing acrobats and you would be surprised what one human person shit can do when they're 70 (laughs) feet in the air. The ground it can fucking cover. Oh, man, that's great. I know what I'm going to look up later. I'm going to write that down. My number one of shit that used to be cool is podcasting. Nice. If you would have done this shit, ten, everybody ask, should I start? No, nobody fucking asked that. I hate when people say that. I don't even know why I just did. Nobody asked these hypothetical things. Like everybody asked me, when should I start a podcast? Nobody's ever asked me that question in my life. But cool, anyone man. thinking about starting a podcast, get a time machine. It's right. over. The ship is fucking sailed. Invent the next thing. Because it's, <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. And we only do it now because we're, we're so deep. We wouldn't it's start just- Rushmore podcast in 2021. That would have never happened. Right. No, you're absolutely right. I just like doing it. That's the only reason I do it anymore. I make a couple bucks here and there, which is nice. But other than that, like I'm just doing me. I'm not on a schedule because at the end of the day, I know I've got more knowledge than half these motherfucking people that I see every day trying to tell me how I'm supposed to do shit and how to monetize. And it's like, get good at podcasting. I'm not good. I've been doing this for years. Yeah. I'm not great. I don't think anybody should pay for my shit, which is why I don't have Patreon, which is why I don't take money from people. Yeah. I'm not worth that. You want to support me? Go to www.biobidet.com. Use promo code POBOYS. I'll put that 10% the, off and I'll get a couple in bucks the, uh, in the episode description. <laughs> but no, that's, that's it. I hold my hat out. I try to make people laugh. Sometimes I say dumb shit. Sometimes it's offhanded. But nowadays you really, you got to be careful because the more famous you get, the better chance is, is you're going to be dependent on that fucking podcast income. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. People are fucking soft. Yeah, people fucking suck. And nine to five suck. Um, the I don't know why Pepper thought we wouldn't like each other. That blows my mind a little bit. I think it's because most people think you're a dick. But here's the sure. thing, Thomas. I've been podcasting long enough that I understand like an on an on camera persona. Sure. I happen to put one on too, but I'm usually me most of the time. Uh, I think most people think that you're probably a prick. And the thing is, is that's the guy you're playing on the show because Pepper's fucking retarded. So yeah. you're the I prick. have to be the straight the guy, retard. Yeah. 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 I have to play the straight man. That's a and better it, name. You should change it from Rushmore to the prick and the retard yeah. and then fucking see how long it lasts. Yeah. I'm into that. I also think that it comes off uh, a lot as a, of a prick that I don't, I don't get that fired up about shit. <laughs> I don't get that. Uh, I'm not that passionate about shit that I don't think matters. I'm very cool. If like, it comes off of like, you don't care or you don't care about this, but it's just, 
I can't put that much fucking energy into goddamn nothing. It's like, <laughs> like water off a reason. duck's back, dude. There's yeah. no point in getting mad. It's all make believe. Yeah, and I'm a goddamn <laughs> goose. Is a goose a duck? It's a big duck. It's a big fucking duck. Is a swan a duck? Are they all ducks or are they birds? They're all fowls. What does that mean? That's They're baseball? For fowl? Foul ball. <laughs> That's baseball. Randy Johnson. That's when he hit that fucking pigeon with his shit. Baseball's fucking gay. My number one's going to be baseball. It used to be cool. I said the fucking Ben thing gets baseball. Um, yep. What's your number one? It's the smoking, but I wanted you to tell me the story about how it saved your life to end the episode. My number one is smoking because unfortunately, like at this point, you're frowned upon, you're smelly, you're fucking causing disruption. Now, listen, I get smoking inside restaurants. You know, I used okay. to go to the Waffle House. You get drunk and you fucking, I would literally have a cigarette in one hand and I would eat hash browns. I would fucking take a bite of the hash browns, take a drag of the cigarette. And you just fucking, you sit there for hours. It's what teenagers do here. It sucks. Yeah. So um, later on, I was in a, an accident. I got shot in the face when I was 16 because I was smoking a cigarette. I had my hand in front of my face, taking a drag off of it. Mm-hmm. And in the process, it shot off my middle finger and fucked up a couple of my other fingers. Let me see that. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking sweet. I mean, so, I'm sure it sucks, but that's awesome. I took a, a hunting rifle. It's a seven millimeter Magnum. It's a big gun. I took around to the face and through the back of my neck when I was 16 through the jaw out the back. I don't get upset about a lot of things <laughs> because at this point that was literally not even, that was the tip of the iceberg. I had a shitty childhood. I was molested as a kid. When you asked if I'd ever sucked a dick before molested is a tough word. Me and Listen, this weird guy, like you're molesting. Me and this weird guy from next door that was much, much older fucked around for a while. Okay. That's the way it works when I was okay. like eight, eight to 12. It sure. wasn't a fun time, but hey, man, so shit gets weird when you're lonely. It happens. <laughs> so, yeah, I fucking, I've been arrested. I've been through a lot of crazy shit, a lot of death, a lot of really sad fucking people, and then I almost died once. So now I talk to strangers on the Internet. And uh, I enjoy that. I, I like t- uh, seeing different perspectives and learning about people and talking about fucked up things because I have a pretty fucked up sense of humor <laughs> and i like it so that's what i do and smoking saved all that for me i could have been dead in a fucking pickup truck and uh i fucking was smoking and uh it saved me so that i think it'd been cool to smoke on a plane you know you just could yeah. smoke in hospitals like there's a lot of places where i get it but you don't fucking there you don't want smoking there but like you said concert venues bars stuff like that it's gotten to where you can't do that here now like now it's I don't even think you can vape. People hate that more because it smells yeah. like fruity pebbles you, while you're trying to sit in there and drink your fucking beer. Yeah, you couldn't do that back home. You couldn't vape or anything. And what's weird is that's uh, where I'm from. That's South Mississippi. You would think that they'd be way behind on that shit. But um, yeah, no, smoking's been banned in there since like 2015. I remember I live in Arkansas, so we did ours in I think early 2000s. Like the Indoor Act was probably 2005 to 10, somewhere around there. And I went with my wife to St. Louis to see some family. And yeah. it you, places where you could smoke inside if they like bars and stuff still and it was wild because at that point we hadn't done it in years it was like i feel like i'm doing something wrong <laughs> yeah now it's i it's like you get a pass if you're over like i don't know 32 maybe yeah anybody younger than that now it just looks fucking strange don't smoke in your car with your kids in the back seat sure. like because as a parent now, I get to judge. It's one of my favorite fucking pastimes. Yeah, it's pretty I, cool. I just sit around and judge people. And like, that's not okay. But like, yeah. smoking's fine. If I get a little nicotine, get you a buzz. You can be creative. They're great after you get done fucking or jerking off, whatever. Yeah, I've never general. experienced oh, that. I would always just sell it for my grandma. And I was never like coming in those situations. Oh, that's wild. You should have tried that. Yeah, I've never experienced it. Um, should have come on the cigarette, then smoked it, Thomas. Yeah, that's a good fucking, that's the Marlboro way. But that's they, um, man. <laughs> the, uh, what was I just about to goddamn say? Stealing cigarettes, smoking, stealing cigarettes. Your and you were like fucking, and you can do it, and Booch. it's not that bad. Oh, your voice—you got a great voice. Oh, thank you. That's what I was gonna say. So it's gr- how long have you smoked? Obviously, it's your kid. So yeah, fucking probably fourteen. 12. How old are you now? Uh, thirty-four. Okay, cool. So you're over years. that thirty-two limit. I fucking called you out on. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm twenty-eight. <laughs> so, I'm twenty-eight. So if I started smoking now, I would look fucking stupid. But um you your voice is very silky smooth like you could use it as a laxative if you wanted to and that's crazy that your voice does that when you've smoked for that long i think that's the point that's what all those old djs used to do they would sit in the studio and just fucking rip cigarettes i think yeah yeah maybe, maybe i should start you think i should start smoking maybe just on the weekends okay you're going to bands so you should smoke while you're playing whatever that's you play fun. i don't even know you could play flute fucking take a moment and take a drag off your cigarette and then fucking go back to playing flute i don't know what that's you do. Not a bad idea you think baseball players smoke because they don't really have to do anything that physical 
I feel like they used to. Now, the, now yeah. you can't even ship or chew tobacco, which I think is fine too. Fuck it, you want to get cancer in your mouth and look you like don't a let them chew tobacco in baseball? No, it's like illegal. You get a fine for that. What? That's why baseball's gay. That's you so fucking cool. stupid. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I guess in my head, baseball is still it's still like 1998. I'm going to go out on a limb. I think that whole snooze shit, I'm sure you've seen it in the fucking gas station. It's like dip, but like you swallow it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that got invented for baseball because yeah. there were people in there which is like, well, I can't not do tobacco while I'm playing baseball. That's dumb. Yeah. Then they do sunflower seeds, which is fucking stupid. There's also nothing less cool than sunflower seeds. They dry your mouth out. Yeah. And what That's do you drink worst. at a fucking baseball field? Urine. Oh, okay. I was going to say your teammates come, but urine's fine. All right, well, fucking rest in peace, Pepper. I hate that we didn't get to meet sooner. I'm sorry that he drug you along like this. Uh, I will say the Braves are going to win the World Series. It's looking like they're up 5-0 to zero right now. So yeah. good for him. But uh, he had a fucking roid rage incident today. He's been a diva to me and you. He's been a real yeah. fucking... I think you should make him apologize, like a formal apology out in public that says, I'm sorry for being a divalicious cunt. I think you should sh- apologize to both of us. Next you week, you should make we'll- him say cunt though so he gets his Twitter account suspended. That's the matter. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to work on convincing him to actually do this podcast if you're on it, which I think I can do. And yeah. we will have you back next week with both of us. Hopefully he shows up. I don't know. He's invited this time and he didn't. But the World Series will be over. So I think maybe he'll show up next week and he can apologize to both of us on air. Look, I don't do very many return trips because yeah. unfortunately, sometimes people don't like to have me back. But yeah. I would be willing to do that if you would have me, sir. You are formally. But only if I get an apology and possibly a handjob. All right. We'll come back next week for Mount Ratemore.